Whiskey Victor 7 Mike Sierra. Radiotity QT40 listed as a 10 meter radio with a surprise. But I'm sure by now, if you've watched this video, you've watched a much better video on this uh, this radio. But I couldn't, uh, just got this for Christmas, couldn't help showing it off. Now I will tell you, this is not a true unboxing. I have already hooked this radio up and already played with it. I live in West Virginia and I've already talked to two guys in Wyoming and one guy in Montana. One of the guys was my first QSO on 10 meters with this radio and I was his first QSO and he was also using this radio. So pretty cool. So you get a uh, manual here and it's a pretty good manual. Not super thick but it does give you all the information you need and then you can also download this manual off of the uh, Radiotity or Radi Radiotity, however you say their names, website. But pretty nice handy little manual. So as you get it get the radio it will come packaged very similar to what you're seeing here nice protection on all the, uh, the boxes and stuff keep you from uh, getting a broken radio hopefully uh, this first set here you've got your squelch on the back it does have an auto squelch built in which we will see later you've got power on and off and volume there you've got your RF gain knob in the back You've got your clarifier, and you can program it to two different settings. I think I have mine set on the 5 kilohertz. For your options here, you have PA, FM, AM, upper sideband, and lower sideband. And then you've got your channel banks. Now this comes pre-programmed as a 10 meter radio. It starts all the way down to 2800, and it goes all the way to 297 throughout the channels, which still leaves you a couple of banks open. Or other things you want to do but like I said this does have a secret in that it can be modified very easily for 11 meters you don't get much more output on it but it is capable of uh, doing 11 meters as well you have mic gain and power powers on the back mic gain in the front your typical channel changer your band switch for a lot high low and weather now I haven't had much luck getting it to pick up weather for some reason so it may be how I've got it programmed but you can also program in like 2 meter FM simplex and then you can listen if somebody's on that. Comes with echo, comes with talkback and a 10k jump so you can get to those oddball channels like 19A on CB once you get it set up for that. They have a very nice noise reduction circuit and you can set it up to reduce the noise on both transmit and receive then you've got your noise blanker and automatic noise level circuit I've seen a lot of people talk about their meter doesn't work very well it is a nice classic feel mine seems to work okay we've got the standard four pin Cobra mic set up here and I have tried a Cobra mic and it works very well but so does the mic that comes with the radio now if you're new to this radio and you're a ham radio operator like I am, you're like why? You know it's a CB. It looks like a CB but that's the beauty of it is you can throw it in your truck, your car, whatever, or maybe use it as a base station which is probably what I'm going to do. But it's already set up. You know, it can be easily set up to do 10 and 11 meters and it, I like that classic look. On the back here You've got your data port for the programming cable. You've got an external speaker, a PA speaker, your antenna, and then that kind of Cobra-ish power plug. Very nice heat sink on this thing. Like I said, I've played with it a little bit. Have not got it hot in any stretch of the imagination, but very nice radio so far. Your receive and transmit light, you'll see later in, in the video works very well and it's pretty nice but overall the radio is 11 inches long 8 inches wide and two and a quarter inches thick and it got a little bit of weight to it but not a lot 
nowhere near as heavy as this Cobra 148 that I hate to put on the shelf because man I love this radio but the QT40 is going to take its place along with all the other stuff you get in the box you get a microphone that we'll look at here in a minute get your programming cable and then like I said I've already been playing with this but you do get a, a heavier duty power cord with an uh, and I soldered the uh, oh shoot Anderson power poles on there because that's the setup I use you get your mounting bracket stuff and possibly a mic holder in there we'll see get a bunch of this stuff out of the way here now I'm torn because I wanted this radio just because I was kind of on the market for a, a 10 meter radio anyway and the fact that this is easily convertible to 11 meters and you don't have to necessarily be worried about being illegal because the power output stays in the CB ranges uh, but I think I might end up putting this in the truck because you have up and down buttons um, so it's a lot handier especially here in West Virginia we're supposed to be hands free that's one less hand that Mr. Policeman typing away on his uh, laptop in his car can accuse me of having my hands off the, off the road as I bump the camera here. Alrighty, so let's get this thing uh, mounted up and put on the uh, shack bench here. And uh, we'll roll in some video of some audio checks with a neighbor down the street maybe. And who knows, we might get somebody else further down the way. So, we'll be back in a moment. Before I put this thing on the bench, I just wanted to show you. If you take the two screws out of the bottom plate on the side and one out of the back, very easily lift the cover up here. Being mindful of your speaker wires and whatnot. Let's see if we can zoom in here. This is not going to be the best, I apologize. Um, but right here is the jumper that you'll move from where it comes from the factory over to the uh, other setting there and that will open this thing up for 11 meters and then you can do your program so we'll see you on the bench okay looking at the programming that comes with the QT40 once you install it which you get it from the Radiotity uh, website you get the drivers and all that stuff Get your programming cable and all that hooked up to your computer. When you open the program, you're going to have the standard uh, way it, pro it comes programmed. And this isn't going to be the best video shot. This is what I could come up with. So you've got HF28 through 29695. And then you're going to have a channel bank. So you're going to have 2800 starting there. And then as you go through the, the band here, it ends down here at 28. Or, excuse me 29 195 on your low bank and then when you get into the high bank you're gonna get all the way up to uh, 29 695 there so if you've made the conversion for 11 meters like I have then I have my channel bank in here I don't have I actually don't have anything in the high banks I put everything in the low but I started at 28 300 and this runs through 28, 495. Then I pick up 28.5 in low band bank B. That goes to 28,695. I basically wanted the the voice portion of the 10 meter band in there. Then on C bank, you pick up C B, 11 meter band, standard 1 through 40. Then you've got D-Bank, I kind of specialize some of the stuff here. So you've got FM frequencies for 10 meters on D, AM frequencies for the AM portion of 10 meters there, and then I've also got 12 meters in here. If you click on the weather channel, you can. it comes pre-programmed with, I think, 10 weather channels. I just programmed in the normal 7 that NOAA uses, and then I also added 146.520 for the 2 meter simplex and then some of my local repeaters so that I could uh, listen to that. As far as 
on the options and features menu I put my weather squelch at one turn my the time you talk talk time or whatever off um, I wanted to show the extension band I wanted to show the um, SWR and all that stuff and then you can change also the minimum and maximum battery voltage as well as your SWR protection so I think from the factory it comes as like 9.9 .9 on the SWR I want my radio to let me know if it's anywhere close to 3 so when it gets to 3 it'll just shut the radio off you get an error code I think it's E5 the manual tells you that I don't use Vox um, I set my noise reduction circuit to 2 you have options of 1 through 5 2 seem to work pretty good for me um, Echo I'm kind of playing around with that I've never had anything with Echo on it some people love it some people hate it I don't know we'll see uh, for the clarifier I want it to move on receive and transmit and I've got it set up for the 5k split but you can also do a 500 hertz split I don't do roger beeps uh, weather alert on sure uh, the dim level I put it 3 and then uh, actually this should be a squelch so once you have all of that done you set up your COM port so if you click here it's going to tell you what COM port that you have it plugged into I don't have it plugged in at the moment uh, and then you can write to radio by clicking this and it's going to ask you you know it, it would normally say write to radio yes or no because I don't have anything hooked up it's not going to tell you that um, and then you also have a function here where if it was plugged in you would click that and it reads what is currently stored in the radio or you know however it came from the factory and then the thing I was curious about before I purchased this which you can obviously see that if I if program uh, channels in here um, but we'll go back to kind of the factory settings I can go to a bank and if I don't want this to be 2800 I want it to be 28074 for some reason so that I can tell whether FT8 is rolling on 10 meters or not I can do that now one thing to make sure is not all of these group valid things are on so if you have channels programmed in that you're wanting to use on one of your banks make sure that's on and then you can set a work channel now what I've noticed with the work channel is when I turn the radio on for the first time it'll go to whatever the work channel I set it as but if I turn the radio off and say I had it set at 9 and I have the radio on channel 30 when I turn it off it doesn't go back to 9 now that may be something I'm doing wrong um, but that's my experience with that so far alrighty so let's take a look at the radio okay we've got the radio mounted up and programmed and like I said I've, I've turned off the the beep and several other things um, so on your mic here uh, from the camera here you've got your up and down buttons that change your channel but if you hold both of them it'll tell you what frequency you're on so we're on 27.305 there and we are on AM we'll turn the power all the way down and we've got the mic gain at about yeah, 3 o'clock, 2.30, 3 o'clock give or take and all the way down on the power my meter is not the greatest but I use the same meter so it's, it's uh, consistently inaccurate or accurate however you want to look at it and when I key up here you will see that it'll show the SWR up there as well so when I key up on the 10 watt scale gives you just shy of about a watt AM dead carrier and then if we turn the wattage all the way up whoop, about 15 watts give or take on FM right at about 50 watts out on high and again if I didn't say it I'm in a dummy load power all the way down go back to the 10 watt scale right at a watt while we're down on power upper side band power all the way down 10 watt scale 
Whiskey Victor 7, Mike Sierra testing. Whiskey Victor 7, Mike Sierra testing. I didn't even register, did it? That's weird. Whiskey Victor 7, Mike Sierra testing. Whiskey Victor 7, Mike Sierra testing into a dummy load. Power all the way up. Whiskey Victor 7, Mike Sierra testing. Whiskey Victor 7, Mike Sierra testing, testing, testing. So that's upper sideband with the NPC on. You can see once you have the power turned up, you, you get a pretty good swing out of it. Uh, if I had to guess, I've got another meter. I've, I've kind of ran it through both. It's about 45 watts, give or take, on upper sideband. Lower side band, you'll see about the same. Whiskey Victor 7, Mike Sierra testing. Whiskey Victor 7, Mike Sierra testing into, into a dummy load. So again, that's power all the way up with the NPC turned on. Um, and again, that's on CB frequencies. Now we're at 20, was it 28495? Because we're on channel 40. There's a 28300, which will go up a little bit. Whiskey Victor 7, Mike Sierra testing. Whiskey Victor 7, Mike Sierra testing into a dummy load. One, two, three, four, five. So you kind of kind of see that there. Um, all the programming, if you turn it off, or not all the programming, but a lot of the settings, if you turn the radio off and hold the up button down it will put you into the menu so you can turn your channel beep where it'll beep every time you move anything you've got your roger beep settings your weather alert dimmer and I'll show you this this I've got the dimmer on level three so if I turn it to two then I turn it to one I mean it, it dims down pretty good three is about right for the way I've got my shack set up then you got your NPC and you turn that off. Just so you can see the difference, that's your Vox settings there, Vox time. Um, that's your SWR. Uh, I don't remember what that is. Then you got your function, that's where you would adjust your clarifier, receive, transmit, receive or transmit or off, I believe. Yeah. Then you've got your 5K or 500. Actually, I think that's your SWR. And then you can reset the entire radio, kind of back to factory settings if you put your ANL circuit and all that stuff on different things. So I'll turn this thing back off. And we will do the same test. We'll go back to uh, CB frequency 27305 there. And you might see a little bit of difference in the power meter. That MPC does do a uh, pretty good difference. Whiskey Victor 7, Mike Sierra testing. Whiskey Victor 7, Mike Sierra testing. So you see you go from, what, 3540 watts with the MPC on to roughly 12 MPC off. So there you go. Um, as I said, this has an A&L circuit. You've got talk back here, echo. I've got echo on and talk back on. Uh, I think I got the echo on seven or something like that. Now I have to pull the mic pretty far away so it doesn't matter where you have the volume set. Um, you get feedback because the speaker's just on. So I'll let you hear that for a moment. This is TalkBack with Echo. TalkBack, one, two, three, four, five. Turn the Echo off. Testing, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So as you see, I don't run, I don't have a lot of Echo even with what I'm playing with. Um, your noise reduction circuit, you can go down to a set function and then you can change your 
different stuff there. Uh, same thing with the echo. If you go down to set and push your push to talk, you can adjust your level. So I've got it on five with a 16 time. So these are all things that you can figure out what you once you get going. Uh, we'll turn the monitor off. There's your 10k jump, and it does work pretty good. So your 27305, do that. 27315. And then, if you hold this down and move your clarifier, you know, it's not exactly live. I mean, it is, but it isn't. You have the time for it to cycle through stuff, but that's uh, perfect for using a 10 meter rig. Uh, CB frequencies, I, I, I don't know of a lot of guys, <coughs> excuse me, that, that jump in between channels, but maybe there is a bunch. I just haven't talked to them. But you can dial it in on 10 meters on a dime. So I've got my uh, Yezu 857 over here dialed in to, to 27305. I uh, don't know if you'll be able to hear very well. Uh, we'll try. Or, and uh, let you hear what this thing sounds on the air. Again, I'm on a dummy load. This is just my radio dummy load to dummy load. Testing into the dummy load. Testing into the dummy load. One, two, three, four, five. That's on lower sideband. Go to AM. Testing into the dummy load. Testing into the dummy load. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then on FM. Testing into the dummy load. Testing into the dummy load. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, pretty nice radio so far for what I picked it up for and, and things like that to the point that I'm thinking about leaving this one here and getting another one for the truck. But hopefully you enjoyed. I'll roll in some uh, B-roll B footage either at the end of this video. Of course, this is going to be a long video of some contacts I've made or maybe I'll make a separate video on that. But either way, I appreciate your time. Stay tuned and be nice to each other.